If you were watching this video, maybe you were hurting. Maybe this is post breakup or post divorce. All I want to give you right now is a big giant hug because I know that the part of the relationships when they come to an end and many relationships come to a rightful end. Probably many cases should have maybe ended years ago. And if you are in any of that questioning, the first thing I want you to know is that you're going to be okay. That's what I want you to repeat to yourself. You are going to be okay. This relationship just showed you something within yourself that you still have to heal. I know the story is very convincing. And at first you're probably phoning your friends and your family and saying, he did this, she did this, he's this, she's that. You're reliving all the events. You're probably manically looking back at every event and said, shoulda, coulda, woulda, I wish I would have known that. I wish I would have saw that. You're probably beating yourself up going like, can't believe I have maybe another failed relationship. If any of that is going on with you right now, I just want you to know that that's very natural. See, when we have a breakup and a divorce, it shows us something about ourselves within, probably buried deep within. See, the relationship that is in front of you is actually just either affirmation or confirmation of something left in you to heal. And when that rejection happens, either from both of you or the decision making, it can feel so real in the moment. And it is in the moment. You've shared time with this person. You maybe shared kids and you're wondering if all relationships are like this and you maybe are going down that doomsday path saying, I will never be in a relationship ever again. If any of those things are happening to you, I want to give you a little bit of hope. When relationships end, it just encourages us. It's an invitation to take the inner journey. That's number one. It's an invitation for you to take the inner walk, the mystery that is within yourself. This outward relationship just really showed us where we need to head. So if you can imagine yourself right now, just even a morsel, you have buried within you a hidden treasure. It's a hidden treasure of pure, unconditional love. No human can give you that. They can show you love, but they can't give you love because this love is already yours. Whether that person is in your life or not, you are already unconditionally loved. It is buried within yourself. You buried it in a box. You threw it down to the ocean, into the reservoir of yourself when you had your first pain point before your 10th birthday. And you swore up and down that you would never marry your father or never marry your mother. And you were going to be like this in relationships because this is what you witnessed. And you said all that story over and over. I want this. You made all these decisions outside yourself. You figured if you changed the outside, the inside would change. And we know that that's false. When we take the inner journey, the outside changes. So although it hurts that this relationship is over, the first thing to do is to suspend the story about them. Barf it out. Tell a therapist. Write it out. Abandon the continued story. But you got a verbal diary of this out. He did this. She did this. Blah, 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 blah. All of the semantics of the story, get it out of you. It's garbage. It's just bleh. It's barf. Once you're done barfing this story, then you suspend it. Then you say, okay, am I ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to take the inner walk? It's an inner walk. And buried within yourself is your treasure. And when you find your true self, you will start to see that perhaps this relationship in front of you really wasn't meant for your true self. I always say that life, universe, God, however you define it, you get three things. You get a whisper. Are you sure? Are you sure this is where you should be? Then you get a two by four. Really? Really? Wake up. Then you get the truck. Right now, you may have a truck that's blown through your life, ripped it wide open, 
It's an invitation. When you get the truck, it means that something on the other side of the fence has rang your bell. Send me her or him. Send them to me. I want them. They're ringing the bell and God in the universe is saying it's time. And they've taken this out of your way. They've taken the relationship. The divorce has happened. They've moved it out of the way so that you can take the inner walk so that you can move to the other side of the mountain, to the other side of the moon where your love is where you know that you are loved by your breath and a person is just confirming it. That's all they're doing. They're sharing in you, sharing in your love. That is possible. When my divorce happened, I was sure, I was sure I would never breathe again. I had all this story about, oh, I can't be my mother. My mother was divorced. I can't be having a divorce. I had two little girls. The girls were little. I'm like, I can't be doing this. But somewhere inside of me, somewhere inside of me, I needed to give myself a shot at love. I wanted to give a shot at myself. I wasn't my true self. It wasn't his fault. It was a choice I made. I made that choice. And when I took the inner journey, magic happened. Now it takes time. This playbook that we wrote is for you to take the inner journey. And I can assure you, if you commit to the three phases and you go through that healing journey within this playbook, you will heal. You will heal and you will look back at this moment and you will go, wow, I wish I would have done it sooner. That's the only thing that you will think. You will imagine a different life for yourself because you deserve to be loved. But first, you need to love the self. Can you take the journey? This is the invitation. This playbook is the opportunity. I know your heart is breaking. I can tell you that this too shall pass. I can tell you that there is so much light and love waiting for you on the other side of this moon. Take the walk. Take it, take it, take it. Take the inner walk and you will discover that you already had all the love that you will need within yourself and a partner will come along beside you. Not this, this. Parallel tracks. Take the course and you will discover it. That I can assure of. Love is waiting for you. True, unconditional love. That's what is at the end of this rainbow.